Mortgage Modeling, Topic 17, Delta Hedging. Section 7, Dynamically Delta Hedge, a Long Call. Since the options gammas are non-zero, the delta changes as the underlying stock price changes. So what this means is if you were to delta hedge the option, as the stock price changes, the delta changes every day. And when we talk, talk, when we talk about dynamically delta hedging a position, means that each day at least, maybe even uh, more often, we're going to have to adjust our position in the shares as the stock price changes because the delta is changing. So here's an example of a dynamic delta hedging of this Google option. And these are the actual prices of the option uh, after I was considering this purchase. So we'll go to the spreadsheet. Remember this option. It was a 615 strike on Goog. Implied vols were 18%. Uh, and I thought the volatility would be closer to 23%. So I was considering buying this option because the implied vol seemed pretty low. The market price was 10.05. So what I'm going to do, I would I was thinking about buying this option and shorting 50 shares of stock, which would be the rounded 49.77 delta on 100 shares. I would have to pay the thousand dollars. I'm sorry, I'd I'd, I'd pay the thousand dollars for that option and then short sell the stock. So here's the P&L for the first day through the life of the option. And these are the actual prices of the option. And let's see if I would have made money by buying this call on Delta hedging. So what we have here is, is the beginning was a 13 day option, which is 0.05 years. The stock price was 614. My initial Delta was 49.78. So I'm gonna short 50 shares. I just have a round function in there to round that to zero decimals on 100 shares. The initial call price was 1005 using BS call where I input this strike, this dividend yield, this interest rate, this implied vol, and then I'm going to allow the years to maturity to change and the stock price to change as I copy that formula down. My net investment is I shorted 50 shares of stock. I'm going to generate cash 50 times 614. However, I lost $1,000 and I anchored that since I paid that up front. The stock ending price on the first day was 618. So the stock price was up about $4. Now remember, my p and I'm only going to make money if there's more than a $7 change in either direction. You can notice pretty quickly it doesn't look too good. Here's my net interest every, every day. Take my net investment times the interest rate divided by 250, I'm going to 215, I'm sorry, 252, I'm going to generate a little bit of interest every day. And here's my stock profit after the first day. I was short 50 shares, the stock price was up $4, I would have lost almost $200. At the end of the first day, I forecasted that the option, based on a new stock price of 618, and a new year to maturity of 0.048 years, in other words, 12 days, the option would have fallen to 11.75 by the end of the day. In other words, my option profit would have been from a long $10, it was up uh, $1.75, I would have gained about $170. If I take the profit and interest on the stock and the uh, option plus the interest, I would have lost $29. I then copied this down. And what's happening is I have the actual stock price changes for those 13 days. What you'll see is the only days I made money. This day, there was a $9 stock price change. This day, there was a $12 stock price change. And those are my two biggest days I made profit. Almost every other day I lost money. And what you'd see is I lost, I would have lost about $200 by executing the strategy. Now I'm gonna slide over one cell and I'm actually gonna show you these are the percent changes of the stock price every day. Just taking the natural log of the new price over the old price. When I do that and calculate the standard deviation, notice the, the, vol the realized volatility over the life of that option was 15%. I bought it when the vol volatility was implied vol was 18. I thought the volatility would be more like 23%, which is my Garch estimate. So I thought this number was going to be higher. That's why I've lost money. I bought it at a volatility of 18.67. I hoped for big changes, plus or minus 
$2 changes. They didn't happen and I lost money. Now, uh, there's one way to back in to, make, to see if this P&L makes, makes sense. There's my actual P&L. I would have lost $208 based on my, as long as the Black-Scholes price stayed according to, I'm sorry, the option price stayed according to Black-Scholes. Now, in theory, I could back into that number to see if it makes sense. And here's how I'm going to do that. The realized vol turned out to be 15.1%. So if I had perfect foresight, I could have forecasted a 15.1% volatility. If I then valued the call option on day zero using a 15% vol, I would have determined that this option was not worth $10. It was worth $8. In other words, it was $2 overvalued. On 100 shares, I should have anticipated losing $200 on this option. And when I do my daily P&L over those 13 days using that realized vol of 15%, what you see is I actually did lose about $200. So this is dynamically delta hedging. This option, buying at an implied vol of 18.67. The realized vol turned out to be 15% and I lost money. The only days I made money is when there are big changes in the stock price, which will be true for any uh, long call or long put with a delta hedge. You're just hoping for more than a one standard deviation change which means that the, the realized vol would be greater than the implied. So there is my example. That 15% was greater than my Garch and EWMA estimates, or I'm sorry, it was less than my Garch and EWMA estimates and I lost money. Now in the last example, we thought that option was undervalued at 18% vol because I thought vols will be 20. Vols turned out to be 15.1% in realized vol and I lost money. I was long volatility because I bought the option and I lost money because realized vol was less than implied. I was hoping realized vol would be greater than implied. So that is dynamic delta hedging of a long call. In the next section, we'll talk about simulating these, pro these profits.